Am I live? It said something went wrong, but apparently I'm live. Hello, everyone. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my gosh. There's like so much going on. Um, yes, it's working because I just got a notification. Now, I don't know if it's working on Instagram, but whatever. I'm here. I'm live. It's hot. Oh, I was looking for this, the controller to the fan. Turning the fan on. Hi, Teresa. Oh, my gosh. I just got home. It has been a whirlwind. Not Well, I didn't get home from Daytona. I got home yesterday from Daytona. No, on Sunday. What's today? Tuesday. Tuesday. I've been home a day and a half, a day and a quarter. But so much going on. I have to make a quilt today. I leave in the morning to Sew, uh, Sew Expo in Puyallup. So if you're up in the Pacific Northwest, come say hello. I will be there. I'm so excited to see you all. The Puyallup show is like, if you've never been to the show up in Seattle, the Sew Expo, it's not a quilt show. It is like a sewing expo. So there's a lot of other things, um, you know, uh, like leather. There's a lot of, uh, Lisa, I'll see you at expo. Yay. Come say hi. I'll be with the Laura stars. Um, but it's like everything sewing and fiber arts, lots of yarn, lots of uh, apparel because, you know, I collect stuff to make shirts. Maybe I'll make one one day. So it's just, there's a, it's, I'm excited. I haven't been there. The last time I was there was pre-COVID. It was actually um, 2020, whatever, February of 2020. And it was the same week. Like we were at that expo when they found the first COVID uh, patient or had the first COVID patients in Washington, you know, and we're all in Washington. So it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun time. Um, actually, I really missed it. It was, I had a great time. It was the only time I've been there so far, but I'm very glad to be back. Um, we will be in the quality booth, I believe. So come and see us and say hello. Um, I'll be with my partner, Emily, because she has to tell me, show me how to do this job correctly. Hi, Carrie. Um, what else? I went to Daytona. I wasn't going to spend any money. And oh my gosh, it did not happen. I, this was, I probably spent the most I've ever spent, but I got a ton of stuff. So things I got, let's see. I need to get these business cards. Um, and you know, I always talk about the things I love. So first off, um, EQ8, I was gonna call it AccuQuilt, EQ8. I got block base. So EQ8 comes with like 6,000 blocks. Um, block base adds another 4,000. It's basically all the blocks in the encyclopedia. Um, what is it? The encyclopedia of piece quilt patterns. So I got this. It's an add on. Do I need it? No. Am I going to use it? Yes. I feel like I'm just going to, I, I'm lucky we were right next to EQ because then I started like, oh, I should do this and I should do that. And I should do this and asking them questions. Um, it's really nice when you can get your questions asked. And you're right there. But what I really love is I came home and I was trying to do something. And they're like, if you ever have questions, just email us. And I put in a question last night, how to answer this morning. And I don't think that it's just because, you know, just because of that. I mean, there's a chance, but I just, I don't think so. Um, so I'm going to put the link in the comments. So this is to um, EQ. This is Electric Quilt. This is the software that lets you design your own quilts and do everything. If you're interested, link is in. This is my affiliate link. Oh, seriously? Having trouble connecting to the internet. I'm streaming, people. Come on. Uh, let's try that again. Let's see. I don't know. Go find it on somewhere. It's somewhere. I don't know. It's on my Facebook. But if you are interested or you've been looking at it and you wanted to use it or something, um, until March 31st, that's a long time. Um, they had a Daytona 24 code to save you 30% off. I'll put, I'm just going to copy this whole thing and see if this works. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll find out. I have no clue. Um, there we are. No, it's not letting me post on anything. This is weird. I can't post on my own live. Um, somebody go copy the link from my Facebook page and post it in the comments for me. Thank you. That's weird. Please check your internet connection. Like, legit. Um, 
There are some really good Facebook groups for EQ and they started doing these like EQ snippets. I love them because it uh, will show you how, like just shows you how to do stuff. So if you're gonna buy EQ or add any add-ons or anything, I would love you to use my link. I can't even get it in the comments, so whatever. Uh, but I do have the link on my Facebook page um, and I would love you to use it. Daytona 24, it's not Daytona 2024, it's just Daytona 24 and that will save you 30% off your purchase. Um, thank you, Lisa, for using my link. Uh, I came back the next day. Uh, the fabrics I didn't care, are they free? Um, fabric section, there is a big fabric selection. There's a big fabric library. I didn't know it was there, but it is. Um, but you're not, let's see. Let me make sure there's nothing. Let me close windows. You're walking. Oh my gosh, my, my room is so dirty. So this is, hold on. All right, so. I made this this morning because I have to make a quilt today. This is the quilt I'm making. So I'm turning you around. I can't even see if you can see that. So, nope, those are rulers. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is dorky. So these fabrics are all from Connecting Threads. And if you go to your uh, design and then you go to Open Library, if you're in fabrics, it shows you your fabric library. All of these are the actual swatches from Connecting Threads. They let you download those for free. And then I used those swatches to swatch out this, and now I'm gonna make this quilt. I had to go buy backing because I don't carry white. Um, so some, some designers will let you uh, download the swatches free. Some of them charge you for swatches. I don't, it, you'll just have to check. Check your favorite thing. If you Google like import fabric swatches, on the electric quilt website then it will actually um like to show you how to do it so there they are let's see what's going on uh i'm cute when i'm cute when i'm frustrated thank you um let's see da -da -da, drinking margaritas oh that's fun debbie it was so good seeing you i uh, love seeing you today kind of Quilt show. I love seeing all of you. Uh, but up, but up, but up. Heading home. First thing going to do, upgrade my EQ. Love that. Use my link. Okay, so look, I already have my pieces cut. I can't accu quilt this because I need my flying geese bigger than what I'm doing. But let's talk accu quilts. So, first of all, I have this idea. And so I had to get a new set so this is english paper piecing you all know me you're like he's not gonna epp he's never gonna do that probably not although i think i might take some this weekend to soap you all up although i want to digitize things but what this does it gives you four different epp dies thank you carrie you're amazing links in the comments if you're on facebook it gives you four epp dies so it's going to give me hexes but it also gives me hole punched papers so right now it is uh, the season of vote for me, vote for me, vote for me. Keep all of those flyers, the cardstock, cut them, cut them with your um, Accu quilts if you have the EPP stuff in your EPP er. Um, I have this idea I want to try to do with this. We'll see if it works. This one has regular hexes. It has half hexes. And it also has the paper die. It has um, triangles and triangles. Let's see, what is this? That's a half hexy. Then it has, I'm opening up my other ones. Oh, that's a diamond. <laughs> it has equilateral triangles and diamonds. <laughs> I looked at that and I just called it a triangle. You know what? So be it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even have time to be on this live right now. <laughs> oh my, we. It, oh, I'm like, what's that? Someone's knocking, but it's the table. Um, okay, so I was with the classy girls this week. Oh my god, loved it. They're so much fun. And I told them, I said, you know, my my table's always moving. Uh, and they go, do you have the do you have the locks on the wheels? I said, well, just one. And when I play PlayStation, I always kick it. And they said, that's why you should have all four locks on, not just one. And don't kick the table because you're an idiot. Um, they probably didn't call me an idiot, but I called myself an idiot. So there's that. Um, okay, so I got the AccuQuilt die. Have you seen, if you haven't seen the new AccuQuilt dies, there's paper dolls. Oh my gosh, you cut out the doll, you cut out the uh, 
And then you cut off the doll with one of the dies, and then it has clothes. So cute. Get in them. Um, there's a new lemon. Get in them. Get in them. Get in them all. Uh, I thought you met me and Mickey. Uh, yes, Kimberly. Kimberly and Mickey were very mean to me. They didn't even let me have lunch one day. Um, <laughs> Pam. Oh, <laughs> Pam Heller. Yes, I do need tons of uh, help. Pam Heller from AccuQuilt is on, everyone. Ugh, I love her. She's so much fun. Um, and midday, she'd come by and bring me chocolate. So let's see what else. Uh, it's not letting Teresa put the link here. Um, straight to an ad. That's weird. I don't know what to do. Uh, if you check Facebook, I'll put the links for everything over there too. Um, da da da. Kimberly, Kimberly, Ball. Perfect. I, Kimberly, I did share. It was sitting there. You didn't need it. Okay, so for like two years, I've been wanting to make a silk quilt. There was someone with silk next to us. I bought silk. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Lug luxurious, stunning, gorgeous, fantastic. So I got four. Uh, I'm going to make some whole cloths, just small ones like 45. Gorgeous. But I got a blue. I have a tan. Look at that. Oh, the yellow. This is what I'm going to make a whole cloth out of this one and put it up on the wall because I already asked Ben what color he wanted. And look at this. Rich, luxurious. It's so, um, it's so rich and stunning. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Where did, where did, hold on. I'll be back. Because when you're working for thread, <laughs> hey Bryce, uh, when you're working for thread, you have to get the right colors. So look at rich. Luxury, luxury. Uh, I'm gonna be stitching these with Magnifico. This is the tri level poly, kind of like a, it's like a, the shiny one, like your embroidery threads. Um, this reminds me of grain. This reminds me of Kansas. Kansas, look, oh, it's gonna be so pretty. Um, well, I don't remember I got an orange. Orange, orange and glad I went live. Like, I wanted something that popped. Yes, yellow, don't have anything for it. But since it's going to the wall, it's going to be yellow. I just have to find the right yellow. Good thing I have the color card. And remember, if you're shopping Superior Threads, Adam so fun. No, ASF10 will save you 20%. So I bought that. Oh, my gosh. Yes, got that. And then Mickey and Kimberly were buying everything. If Mickey bought it, Kimberly bought it. If Kimberly bought it, Mickey bought it. They both bought cork. Well, they didn't buy cork. They bought a pattern to make little cork bags. And then they're riveters. Call them Rosie Riveter next time you see them because they're going to be riveting things. So I went over because I said, show me what you're talking about. And then I bought cork. So this is my cork. Well, one, because I confuse on vinyl, I'm going to do something with vinyl and cork. Um, but I thought, look, with like a, a cutting out an airplane, like, and then fusing it? Yes. Yes, please. All day, every day. Uh, and then I bought this one, which Kimberly also bought. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It was just cool. You know, I just get in a buying frenzy. I don't even remember. I bought, I have cards for everyone, but I didn't keep them with who I bought them from. Oh, this might be so many creations. They have cork. <laughs> so if you want cork, so many creations. They were fantastic. I really liked them. Um, the best thing she was she made me laugh so you know you made me like you make me laugh i'm gonna spend more money okay it's just that it's just that easy um but i will show you what i do with it what's this one tilted quilters that's no one oh i think i have everybody's card now so yeah cork so many what was it if you want cork so many creations.com Oh, it's, no, it's not right there. Hit pause. Go rewatch this and then you can see so many creations, New York.com. Um, they got a pattern, like it's a whole template where you just cut the template out and then you have the bag done. So, oh, Henny uses her for her cork. Um, oh, I got this bag. This is a, uh, this is from, um, this is a zipper pouch template. This is actually from, uh, the, the classy girls. Um, these are their templates. It's a two size zipper pouch bag. And I saw them and I'm like, taking it. And then I took it, <laughs> put it on my tab, classies. Um, Stephanie, if you're watching, 
Surprise. Uh, but yeah, so um, this was after I got on top of the table and they raised me up really high. They're like, are you scared of heights? I'm like, no, I don't think so. Uh, but I'm not jumping off of it. It was, we have everybody looking at us. Um, so what, this is what, back to hexes. Look at that. I'm really good with hexes. This is all slap like, hey, I didn't make one stitch. So this is what I'm going to do with those hexy dies. I'm just, I'm going to break the mold. Break the mold. Um, we're just jumping around because we're going back to uh, Aki Quilt and June Taylor. So I made my beautiful project bags where I went and um, ironed onto vinyl. Oh, and all the people who bought Laura Stars this week from Emily, congratulations, you're in the Laura Star family. We love you. Quite a few of you bought stuff to the point we didn't have anything left, so thank you. Um, so project bags. So I went over to Pam and I was like, oh my gosh, Pam, did you see my project bags? Look at this. And then she said, yes, did you see our project bags? It's a kit, stitch and flip. I think, yeah, because it's June Taylor. She makes everything so so easy. I love the June Taylor products. Everything is so easy to do. My favorite is I was talking to her, and they have this zipper, and this is their patented zipper, zipper, and it's called a. Uh, I always call the wrong thing. It's called a zippity do done, and um, Don, you can only iron. Well, I'm not going to say only, but with the Laura Star, if you put on your protective sole plate, you can stick the iron right onto the vinyl and it doesn't melt it. At some point, this will be a video and you'll see what I'm doing. Um, which is why I got it. I'm like, oh, I want to make a video uh, because they're zippity doo done. I love that. Uh, they're zippity doo done for vinyl. Um, but how they're like, it has. Instead of having to do like a zipper foot and stuff, you just put the stuff in and stitch it. It's done. It's it's zippity do done. Uh, but check it out. This is June Taylor. This is the set of two project bags. Um, these are two 16 by 18 squares. Two pieces of vinyl. Two zippity do duns. Oh, it's going to be so fast. Look, it's like that. There's a picture. Um, you can use... Uh, Oh, oh, I wonder if that will work. Hold on. One moment, please. I don't think any of this is going to work. Uh, if I am doing this, I need to go here. And here and here and here and there. Oh, my God. I hate when you always have to verify when you're logging into things. I was like, I'm going to be on for 20 or for 30 minutes max. And oh, I guess I was 10 minutes late. I had to go to the store and buy fabric for the quilt that I have to finish today before I leave. Um, I want to go here, 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 and there, and here. Uh, what are we looking for? None of those. There we go. And I'm going to, if it works, drop my link. Oh, we'll do this one. Okay, let's see if this one's going to work. Um, here's a link to June Taylor stuff. If it works, this is my affiliate link again. Would love if you use it. Well, that one worked. That's weird that that one worked and the other one didn't. Um, so this will uh, send you over to, I don't even know where it works. We're going to pretend that it's going to send you to the AccuQuilt website, but has they have all the June Taylor stuff. So if you buy anything from June Taylor, I would love you to use my link or AccuQuilt. Oh, that will send you, oh no, the other one was EQ. Um, Let's see, just bought the Tula Pink Iron, floor size out of my budget. Don't put the Tula Pink Irons on vinyl because it will melt it. Um, iron on vinyl. Oh, there's iron on vinyl. Although I want to iron on the vinyl, not iron on vinyl. What thread do you use when I piece? I'm thinking, Tammy, you said, what thread do I use when I piece my quilts? And I use, uh, oh my gosh, Superior Threads Pima. Although right now I'm using uh, Masterpiece because it's what was on there and I just needed to piece something. Do I have a Pima? Hold on. One moment, please. I move things and then I can't find it. Um, where did it go? Well, just trust me. I have Pima. Oh, I know where a closed one is. Don't mind me, just walking around my room. What drawer is it in? 
So I use this. This is Superior Threads Pima down there. This is an extra long staple American grown Pima cotton that they then send over to the Netherlands. They will, um, then they wrap them. Um, in my bobbins with this, I'm using the, the Super Bob cotton pre-wounds. This is a class 15. Um, I've never used pre-wounds in my domestic machine because I never could. And now I can, and I'm a little bit in love. Um, so yeah, so I have these this is my go-to color. It is 8003. I can't remember what color it is. Light tan. I put it the other the other day. It goes great with 152 bisque. So what size pre-wound bobbins do you need? I don't know. You should know that. It's your machine. They're all different. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. Um, mm -hmm. Perfect. I love you are all using my links. Uh, went through the jewelry maker. Okay, Sandy, we're getting, I haven't got to rope bowls yet. We haven't got that far. Okay, what are we on to? June Taylor stuff. Okay, next up, my dear friend Kimberly Flanagan brought me a ton of Deb Tucker rulers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You know I love the Dev Tucker things. Um, it's I'm, I'm excited. They're not even opened yet. Look at that. And, oh, that's the one that I like. Um, speaking of Kimberly and Dev Tucker stuff, which we never actually talked about this, Kimberly Flanagan, if you're still watching, we're going to do, I think we're going to do a mystery quilt this summer. Instead of like just the regular quilt along, we're going to do a mystery quilt quilt along. And... Um, she has it tuckerized for you Deb Tucker people. I'm going to have it AccuQuilted for my AccuQuilt people. And that I think, well, the original pattern is still there too. If you don't have either. Um, so you'll have different directions for different things. And yes, it's going to be a mystery, but you're going to want to do it. Where's my rope? I feel like I bought more than this. I got that. I must have just got high ticket items. I got that. I got that. I got that. Where's my rope? Okay, picture it. I had four things of rope. Oh, they're under the table. Oh, I forgot about a whole lot of stuff. I told you I wasn't going to get anything. Uh, my dear friend, Michelle, Michelle Chapelier, you know her as Mickey. You guys, it's my mom's birthday today. I am the high ticket item. Uh, it's Gloria's birthday today. She brought you all so much joy two Decembers, was it? Yeah, two Decembers ago when she was trying to guess the fabric color. Look at this. She actually bought this while we were on safari. I'm gonna make, oh, I could make the June Taylor bag out of this. Yes. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, she is not watching, so I'll tell her that people were going crazy about her birthday today. Um, oh, I wonder if I can do, hold on one moment, please. Uh, I think I didn't even think about that. Get links. Uh, this might work. Maybe. Uh, da -da. I don't know. I think I found a different way to do this and There you go, AccuQuilt link. Not, uh, not AccuQuilt, just kidding. This is the link to EQ. Again, my affiliate link, so if you buy it, I get a little something back. I would love that, you're the best, amazing. Gorgeous, amazing, stunning, fantastic. <laughs> Happy birthday, mom. Um, okay, what did I miss? Everybody's saying birthday. Oh, if she, she would start crying right now if she knew. Uh, thank you, Diane, for using my So Tights uh, gift, uh, discount code, you save money, and I got some. Uh, I, I stole rope. I didn't steal any rope. Please don't let anyone think I'm a thief in the night. I only steal laughs. Ha! I steal hearts. Ha! <laughs> God, I'm dumb. I can't believe y'all watch me. I can't believe y'all watch me. <laughs> um, so there's an EQ link. There is, which is electric quilt. There's an Aki quilt slash June Taylor link. That Those go to the same place. Um, I don't have links for rope. But I am now a roper, and I bought some rope. But you know me, I can't get one. So I bought two. Well, I bought four. But okay, so somebody came into the booth. 
and they're going to use, they're making rope. Um, what do I use? What thread size do I use for rope bowls? I have no clue. I've never done it. I've never done it, but I did buy some because I'm crazy. Like who, who needs four things, four rope bundles? I don't know. But again, they made me laugh. I really liked the person in there. So I bought a lot. I love this though. Look how pretty that is. Um, this is from the Mountain Thread Co. Um, in North Carolina, but that's not who sold it, is it? Tilted. Oh, so this is it. I got the rope from Tilted Quilters, but the rope's from the Mountain Thread Co. in North Carolina. So the rope is from North Carolina, but this was the... Um, this was the retailer I bought it from. Pause for website. There it is, Tilted Quilters. You can get your rope there. Uh, they were fantastic. Really loved them. Again, they made me laugh. It was a lot of fun. Um, I said, I'll be right back. And then it took me an hour to get back to the booth because I was buying rope. I'm going to make rope bowls. Um, they actually had a book. I didn't get the book. Mickey got it. Um, but she was making coaster, like a whole coaster set. And I'm like, I can make a coaster set. So, um, I have to borrow the book from Mickey and make a coaster set. So that's fun. And the next store, um, we had like the bejewelers with like the bejeweled kits. So they're the ones who do like, um, this is Debbie. I hope you're not watching the Debbie who I'm gifting this to because this one's yours. Um, she loves unicorns. But I also bought a flamingo and zebra. The zebras um, but it's like I see it on TikTok, and I've always like I want to do one of those and then I did just a little bit it's like you put the little see the little jewels and it's sticky and you put the jewels on um, the thing with this and this is from unique craft uniquely craft creations there you are pause it pause it for uh, whatever it's called website um, she's fantastic she designs like draws she's the artist for all this so she does the artistry she gets it and then she like everything is from her like her business so she just sits there and is like dun 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 and just making them making them i got like 10 pieces on i felt like i was a pro it was fun um did i get kimberly did i get anything else i don't feel like i got anything else i feel like i got other stuff but I just got high ticket items. Uh, oh, the yes, Uniquely Crafts. If you're going to the Hampton Roads show, um, the Bejewelers are going to be there. Go say hi. Say Adam, that crazy guy next to you last week in Daytona, told me to come say hi. She would love that. She was she was fun. Uh, there was a lot of fun vendors. I That's what I love about shows. I love the vendors. Um, let's see. Are you covering the rope with fabric? No. Uh, there's a lot of people who love rope bowls. Oh my gosh, you guys have said so much. Let me see. Uh, have a let's see. I can't, I'm currently in the doghouse. Uh, seeing out of town brings joy. Love that. Sorry that your cat is in the doghouse, Michelle. Um, I'm funny. Thank you, Tammy. I'm the number one teacher. There you have it, Kimberly Flanagan. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, rope bowls are addictive. You know, our good friend Barb, Sapphire Stitches, makes rope bowls. Um, ooh, you want to embroider one. I've seen people do that. Uh, Angie, you love work. Angie, I saw the new truck. Angie was on the truck with me. It is so not as fun as our truck, just so you know. Uh, no, I'm not covering with fabric. You guys all love rope bowls. What thread do you use? I think she said she just uses a 50 weight. Um, probably I would use, uh, well, one, if I want some like pizzazz to it, you can use King Tut. It's a 40 weight. It'd work. Um, if I, if it were me, I would probably use Masterpiece over, uh, Pima. Master, Masterpiece is a three ply. Pima is a two ply. So it's going to have some more strength or have more strength than what the Pima has. Not that Pima won't work. Cause I think a lot of people make them with Orphil. Oh my gosh. I should have shaved. Squirrel. Um, do a rope bowl video. Uh, maybe if I can get one that looks good, I will. <laughs> um, let's see. Hand of Rose. Rope bowls are cute. Um, let's see. Ranch Glam. I love it. Uh, 
Teresa, have a good one. You had to leave. And you believe me about the truck. Kimberly, is there anything I'm forgetting? I'm like looking down because that's where I keep things. Did I put anything in my pack? I think that's it. Look how cute these blocks are. This is from um, the Robo Boogie from uh, Sugary Doo. And I just wanted to do something that really showed the line. And I have to finish this quilt that was supposed to be done like a long time ago. Look, I love it. I love, this is gonna be such a fun quilt. It's gonna be bright and fun. I'll show you one more block. They're all just triangles. I just took a, I actually modified a pattern. I think I showed it in the last thing. I modified a pattern for, um, from uh, Villa Rosa. And then I just, I have to trim them down. I have to finish making the other ones and trim them down. Ooh, this might be my favorite one. I'll show you one more. Look at this. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Let's see what else I've got that. I've got that. Hey, for those of you at QuiltCon, did you see the new hanging system from um, Sew Tights? They have a new quilt rack hanging system where you put the metal bars up and then use their magnets for it. I really want it. And then Ben told me I can't put holes in the wall that I want to hang quilts on. Go figure. Oh, also, I got one of these. I know some of you have stripologies. I have the original Shape Cut Plus by June Taylor. Um, this is the original strip ruler cutter thing. So yeah, it's not even out. I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to open it in a minute because I have to cut some things. I need to get my samples ready for the show this week. Uh, let's see. Hey, Adam, I got rope. Heather, yes, I got rope. Um, uh, oh, I could, oh, well, I don't have a 10 inch, I don't have an eight inch or a, whatever, a nine inch classy ruler, but I wish I did. That would have been really nice to square it up with. Um, I wish there was purple in the rope. Oh, purple would go good. Oh, let me think, Michelle, let me think of a purple that would go good for the robotics team. Oh, make, make pouches. These things. These are so fast. The first one, not so fast, but after this, it was like, I didn't even read a pattern anymore. I just cut pieces and made it fit. Uh, I need one. I've never used a strip ruler because I usually use my AccuQuilt for my strips, um, but I need to cut other pieces and I don't have the size that I need. It might be coming and then I won't have to use that anymore. Um, let's see. Uh, I did see it, but I did tell the Sew Girls how much we love you. Oh, thank you, Lisa, for letting them know. Um, they actually reached out and said, we want to take you to dinner in QuiltCon. Are you going to be there? And I'm like, no, I'm going to be at Daytona. Um, so Adam, you made a new friends at QuiltCon. After I asked the Sew Tights discount, the gal behind saw what I did and said, I think I know Adam too. <laughs> oh, how funny. I love that. I love saving people money. I'll spend the money so you can save it, right? I spend the money, find things I like, and then I come back and say, give my, give my kids a discount. Um, oh my gosh, there's too much. There's just too much. Okay, I've got to go. I've got to go make samples. I have to go make a quilt. I le legit have to make 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 20, 20, 27 flying geese, which actually should not take that long if I do the four at a time method. <clears throat> it would be faster if I could use my Aki quilt, but I can't. Um, I have to steam a seam a whole bunch of stuff. I have like quite a bit to do. <clears throat> um, yeah. You guys, next week I'm home for a whole week. It's going to be nice. Not just this two-day thing that I'm currently working on. I leave tomorrow to Seattle. So um, if any of you, are any of you coming to, uh, ooh, a hat out of the rope. That's interesting. If any of you are in Oregon and got, oh, I wonder, no, I might text somebody. I want some yum sauce from Cafe Yum. Uh, it's gonna, definitely going to be a late night for me. I still have to pack and finish doing laundry. And the, the thing is, I had to go to the quilt store today because I needed white for the quilt. So I couldn't start it yesterday. And um, I don't quilt with white. I was like, let's use gray. And I was like, no, use white. 
And or they told, said, no, use white. And I'm like, uh, okay, I'll go to the quilt store and get some white. That's fine. But they didn't open till today. But I couldn't go when they opened, which was at 10, which is why I started seven minutes late, because I was at the quilt shop. Um, because we had a delivery of patio furniture. So for those of you who ever come visit, we have a patio furniture now. We can sit out there. But yeah, tis, tis the day. So uh, thank you for spending some time with me. I know I'm freaking crazy, but you know what? Would we have it any other way? Like life's too boring to be boring or life's too short to be boring. Somebody said this weekend, you only get one, one, one time around. And I'm like, oh, I like that. You do. And there's no pockets in the casket. So go buy silk and block base and Aki quilts and all of that other stuff. Get yourself a Laura star. You deserve it. Um, okay, perfect. I got to run. Linda, thank you for spending time with me three weeks ago. Has it been three weeks already? Uh, love you all. Have a good one. See you next week. And uh, fingers crossed I don't spend too much money this week. Hopefully I don't buy anything. I don't need it. I got to finish what I'm doing. Although I'm sure I'm going to come home with some type of dumb shirting fabric. Um, thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, I also bought this cup for five dollars six dollars six twenty five something like that starbucks i needed something to drink water out of love you guys have a good one bye